regrowth. Like regrowing a missing tooth? An actual tooth from your own body? Could be the biggest dental breakthrough we've ever seen. So let's talk about what's really happening, the science behind it, and whether this is truly the future of dentistry. Hi, I'm Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about how researchers in Japan are, yes, actually testing a drug that could make people regrow missing teeth. This tooth regrowing drug in the form of a shot, an injection, is being developed by a startup company which spun out of Kyoto University. And after decades of research, they officially started human clinical trials in 2024. So here's how it works. The drug targets a protein called USAG1, which normally suppresses tooth growth. When you block that protein, your body's tooth bud cells, which are kind of like leftover cells from when your baby and adult teeth formed, can reactivate. That means your body literally starts growing a new tooth again. Now, in animal trials, this worked in mice and ferrets, both of which successfully grew new fully formed teeth. However, it's important, very important, to keep in mind that animals are very different from humans in tooth biology and jaw development. So although this preclinical success with animals was necessary, it's still not sufficient for safe, predictable human therapies. Since humans vary in why they lost teeth, congenital versus decay versus trauma, and in the presence of dormant tooth buds. So human trials are required to know who it will help, what side effects may appear, how reliably a tooth forms, what shape and size the tooth will be, and whether the tooth integrates properly. So yes, now that current human trials are being done, that's awesome. One step closer to getting some answers on if this will work. But one other thing in important to know is that right now, the human trials are being done with the goal of testing the safety of the experimental drug in healthy adult participants, not to actively regrow teeth. So while tooth regrowth, tooth regeneration might happen as a side effect, the primary aim right now is safety testing in adults who have lost at least one tooth. Once these safety trials go well, then presumably later trials will focus more directly on effectiveness of regrowing teeth. Hopefully that clears up what's going on. Animal trials done, safety trials trials on humans currently happening. And then if those go well, they can start on actual clinical trials to see if it works on humans at all. I get messages all the time asking me about tooth regeneration research, asking me to make a video about this. And it took me a while to make this because there have been so many wild claims out there. People have been asking about how they read about using radio waves to stimulate cell growth, to regrow teeth. I could not find any credible evidence published regarding that. However, yes, in the early 2000s, several legitimate labs in the US as well reported tissue engineering progress, producing tooth crowns in experimental systems and showing dental stem cell potential. Those findings made some headlines and perhaps were often exaggerated by legacy media for a short period. So although there were some reports from the early 2000s with tissue engineering of tooth crowns, it was not due to radio waves or magic, but instead they were stem cell tissue engineering studies. Now for the scientists in Japan, they have been studying the genetics of tooth formation for over 20 years. And in 2018, research Researchers identified the USAG1 protein as the key off switch for tooth growth. By 2021, they had successfully grown new teeth in animals. And at the end of 2024, human trials for safety finally began. So if this works with humans and it does become a thing, what would the treatment actually look like? Right now, it's a local injection, meaning it's a shot given near the missing tooth site, not in your arm like a traditional shot. The shot goes under the gum, close to the jawbone, right where your tooth would be to activate the dormant tooth bud cells. That's important because this isn't a systemic medication. It needs to work exactly where your body's blueprint for the tooth already exists. It's a biological medication that turns on your natural tooth growing ability. And so far, the drug is being tested on people with a condition called congenital tooth agenesis, where certain permanent teeth never develop. That's a smart starting point because those patients still have tooth buds that never activated. So the scientists can test whether the shot can wake them up. Then if that goes well, along with the safety trials, they will then plan to expand and testing to people who have lost teeth from tooth decay or trauma. And if that happens, this would completely change dentistry. Think about it. Less of a need for implants, dentures, bridges, just helping your body grow its own replacement teeth. Of course, there are still a lot of questions to answer first. Will the new teeth align properly? Will they form strong roots in enamel? Can nerves and blood vessels reconnect normally? How long would this process take? And how expensive would it be? As a dental hygienist, I think it's incredibly exciting, but also important to stay realistic 
realistic. We've seen a lot of miracle dental headlines over the years that never pan out beyond animal studies. That said, the science behind this does check out and the research is coming from credible sources. And it has been stated that the researcher's goal is to make this tooth regrowing treatment publicly available by 2030, starting with congenital cases. Again, if it works safely, it could expand to people with missing teeth from cavities or injuries. So no, it's not a miracle cure yet and it's definitely not available to the public anytime soon. They still gotta make sure it's one, safe to use on humans and two, it actually works on humans. In conclusion, for the first time ever, tooth regeneration isn't science fiction anymore. It's actually being tested. I mean, imagine a future where instead of getting a dental implant, you could just regrow a new tooth. That's incredible. I will be keeping up to date with this news and sharing updates once I know. And until then, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Would you try the new regrowth shot if it became available? My personal biggest concern, if this were ever a thing, is how expensive it might be because this sounds pricey, but everything in dental is pricey. So I guess we'll stay tuned to learn more. Thank you for watching. If you want more Teeth Talk, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. And don't forget to brush, floss, and maybe someday regrow your teeth. <laughs> Peace, love, and teeth.